everybody welcome to the channel i'm austin with uh barbed wire outdoors so i am just now starting out my kind of gunsmithing career um something i've wanted to do for a while and honestly for the longest time i didn't even know it existed um, i thought it was just kind of something that you had to do with you know if your granddad did it or something like that which mine didn't but um kind of growing up around guns so it's not necessarily new to me i wanted to go over today kind of for people that are either looking to get into it or, you know, I've seen a lot of people kind of bash on places like Sonoran Desert Institute and stuff like that, which um, if you don't know what SDI is, they have a course that you can go through for firearms technology, i.e. gunsmithing. It's nationally accredited. Um, it kind of teaches you some of the, some basic, some a little bit more than basic um, kind of gunsmithing. Uh, information and stuff like that and for most of the classes that you actually need stuff for um, just like I'm going through the gunsmith and tools lab so they sent me some brass punches set of steel punches um, one of the um, kind of double-sided mallets it's got a brass end and a plastic end and then um, a set of gray branded screwdrivers um, that I'll need but uh and they with different classes they send you different stuff uh that they know that you'll need so they provide it for you and uh this is a you know a pretty good you know place for me to be and everything and a place for me to go on kind of the fact of i'm in the military so i can't go to you know necessarily a brick and mortar school um i'd like to do something like that but i'll you know get into kind of what i'm doing to you know have that brick and mortar type of teaching I guess so I kind of wanted to go through and talk about if SDI is worth it or not in the long run and it kind of I guess it varies based you know case by case but I know a lot of people bash on it because it's not a brick-and-mortar school and oh it's all online and stuff like that and honestly just in in my experience don't listen to people like that it just if you're in a place to where you can only do online, do it. If it's something you really, really, really want to do. Um, and then if you're in the military, MilTA will pay for it. Uh, you can use your GI Bill with it. Um, I'm using MilTA for it right now. And so, I mean, it's really nothing out of my pocket anyway, besides me buying some of the stuff that, you know, I was already going to add to my collection of tools anyway. The ultimate question is it worth it? And in my experience and my, you know, this is my personal opinion. This has nothing to do with SDI. Um, you know, they didn't tell me to do this. They didn't sponsor me, nothing like that. It's strictly my opinion. But in my opinion, yes, it's worth it. I mean, one, it's a little bit better for me because I don't have to pay for anything necessarily out of pocket. Um, so that's a little bit better just because I'm a budget-minded person. I don't like paying for stuff. But one thing I will say with it, kind of caveating off of it, I would like to go to a brick and mortar school. Unfortunately, I don't have that capability. So one of the things that I do, and I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're this, you know, going through the, trying to make the decision of doing it, highly recommend you doing it, is find a local gun shop or a mom and pop shop or um, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have a granddad that is one still around, but two does gunsmithing, shadow him. Go to that local local gunsmith shop and um, shadow under the gunsmith there. I'm fortunate enough to have, you know, one of the local gun shops here in Monon, North Dakota uh, that allow me to go, you know, once or, once or twice a week and shadow under the gunsmith there. And, you know, it's gotten to the point to where I'm more and more comfortable with it to where I just pick up some of the things that they have going on and everything and I'll work on stuff while the gunsmith works on stuff and you know most of the time I'm good to go but if I do have a question the gunsmith's already right there for me to just be like hey I'm confused on this what do I need to do um, and then something like that also allows you to kind of get ahead of the game in you know go, while going to a place like SDI um, for example you know, I'm working on the gunsmith and tools lab right now. And then the other class that I'm doing is the um, 
finishing and engraving firearms. So I won't take like machining and stuff like that for a little while. But one of the things that I've been able to, you know, be fortunate enough to do is to go ahead and start learning how to uh, thread barrels and stuff like that on the lathe, which I've had a lot of fun with. Another thing it, that you can kind of, you know, use to caveat some of that online learning is get you some books. Um, I know Gunsmith Kinks 1 and 2 are really good books, and um, I'll also link everything that I'm talking about down in the description as well as the website to SDI. If you've never heard of it, you can kind of go and do a little bit of research on your own. Yeah, Gunsmith Kinks 1 and 2. Um, you can get some books that kind of tell you about the history of uh, different things like uh, Remington, um, Winchester, Henry, kind of things like that. And uh, let's see, I've got some back here. Yeah, so this is Gunsmith Kinks 2. Um, I've got the first one upstairs. I just haven't, I didn't feel like running up there to get it. And then um, the America's Premier Gun Makers for Browning, Colt, Remington, and Winchester um, is that right there. And I don't have the Winchester one in there because I've got, I've got it upstairs. But um, yeah, I'll link this and the Gunsmith Kinks down in the description. Um, but yeah, just kind of, there's ways to get around only being able to do online. Um, if you're kind of stuck in one place like I am, I can't go to, you know, Pennsylvania or wherever it is for, you know, some of the bigger gun, uh, brick and mortar gunsmith school. Um, there's one of the guys that I work with at my local gun shop that was able to do that. A super smart guy, knows a lot and everything. And while I would love to do that, some, you know, some of us just don't have that capability. So yeah, ultimately, yes, I, I think it's worth it. If you're trying to make that decision to go, highly recommend it um, as well as, you know, going, like I said, and going to that local gun shop and, you know, shadowing them, um, um, under the gunsmith there, they can give you a lot more information and teach you, a, you know, a lot more in-depth stuff. Because, I mean, nobody's going to be able to give you all of the information to one thing in, you know, such a short period of time. Um, so, as you do it more and more, you're going to learn more and more. You're never going to stop learning. Even the people that have been doing it for 40 years still learn stuff. Um, so, you've got my answer. Like I said, yeah, I feel like it's a fantastic opportunity. Um, if you're able to take it, go for it. Um, kind of hit those caveats that I was talking about with the books, local gun shop, you know, do some job shadowing and get that hands-on experience as well as that online experience. And if you're anything like me, you learn a whole lot better hands-on, so you're going to pick up stuff like that um, a whole lot better. But yeah, go get it done. If you're anything like me, you're going to absolutely love it. Um, and, you know, if there's any questions that you have or you want to know more, just um, leave a comment or anything and I'll answer the comments as they come in. If you've liked the video so far and you wanna learn more or you wanna see more gunsmithing type work on the channel, uh, just let me know. Um, let me know any ideas that you have because honestly I could use them. But uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for uh, being able to get updated whenever I post new videos and leave a comment down in the comment about what you think and uh, what you think I can do to improve considering I'm a little bit new to the YouTube video making world. I love you. God loves you. And we'll see you next time.